Oh my gosh, I look so horrible in this camera. No, my God. <laughs> no, hold on, because y'all not going to do me. Alrighty, so, hey guys, one second. Let me put on some lip gloss. Um, ciao. Anyway, so. You believe in me, life isn't what it seems. No, it's poor, cold, my little heart, it be freezing. I got the big Drake, though, I don't be all in my feelings. I got the big bank, well, I don't be having no children. Try to take my soul, you ain't having it, nigga. Baby, go, baby, go, run, pull your soul up. Hope your soul up. Hey guys, so I'm actually on my way somewhere. Um, this is probably gonna be a, like a really short video. I just wanted to do this fresh on my mind before I forget because I just feel like everything that I'm about to say right now really needs to be said. And this is just some things that spoke to me today. And yeah, and I need to post, but it's important. So, so um, I just really wanted to talk a little bit about fear and being afraid to do something that you've always wanted to do, being afraid of whatever whatever it is, being afraid of facing your biggest fear. Shout out to GD, I'm wearing his shirt right now. I'm gonna take tour even though I didn't get to go. Not the point, getting sidetracked, get it together. So yeah, um, I was having a really interesting discussion today with a couple of people and it really made me think about a lot of things. Now, I'm all over the place, you know, I do music, YouTube, acting, I do so many things, right? And I had never really thought about this until someone brought it to my attention. And someone that I've known for a long time, basically grew up with, ignore my nails, they're busted. <laughs> but um, they asked me, like, Karen, like, you're such a shy person and you've changed so much from when I like used to know you like way back when, right? I would have never guessed that you would have gravitated towards, well, no, like they, they would have guessed, you know, because I showed signs of, loving to do this like just being a creative arts person but them just being like but you're so shy like doing what i'm doing now and choosing doing this by choice not because you have to but pushing yourself out of your comfort zone to to do acting or to do you know whatever the case may be just talking you know what i mean that is a lot and then knowing oh my gosh people are gonna see it like they're gonna judge me they're gonna do this they're gonna do that and them just being like yo like you, you used to be so shy and I, I still kind of am but I feel like when I'm in my element not so much but then again I feel like that's really everyone because obviously like when you're in your element you're more yourself like obviously you know you're comfortable in your skin you're comfortable because you, you were in your element whatever you love to do you're doing but you know then again whether you're shy or an introvert or because i'm an ambivert anyway but whatever but whether you're shy or whatever the case may be or you're just not that outgoing or you know you're scared of a lot of things you're scared of being in front of people you're scared of whatever it is that's like holding you back all these things made me think deeply about something and how we view fear and what fear does to us and how it kind of puts a barricade between where we're trying to get to and you know what we're trying to get past to get to that thing another thing that um i thought about was i i think like a few weeks ago maybe like a month ago i was talking to my friend about this and he was going through some things and i told him that a lot of what he's going through and how he's processing it i see it in myself like i see me in him as well and i think that's why we were such good friends but i never really acknowledged myself as a strong person you know what i mean i because I have my own difficulties, I have my own problems, I go through things in life as well, just like everyone else. But I've always kind of just grown accustomed to just picking up the pieces, just, just doing it. Just picking up the pieces and just doing whatever you need to do to be okay again, you know what I mean? And continuing on, you know, and just being forced to pick up the pieces. And to some people, I guess that that portrays me as someone who's a really strong person. Which again makes sense because I do have a lot of friends or you know people in general that would come to me when they need advice or when they need to vent or whatever the case may be and I'm I'm a listener you know what I mean I'm not really someone that talks a lot I don't want to say I'm more of just an observer I listen you know and this especially came to my attention because another friend of mine sorry I'm like all over the place but I'm getting somewhere just just bear with me another friend of mine pointed out to me how she was like 
man, I've been, I've been talking about myself this whole time. Like, you ain't said nothing, <laughs> you know? I think that's when I really realized, you know, the fact that I'm more of a listener, you know, and, and I'll, I'll put my two cents in, you know, if you want advice, I'll give it to you. If you want, you know, my point of view on it, I'll give it to you. And that's just how I am, right? And going back to the whole strong thing, sometimes when it comes to fear, strength is not always enough. Strength is not always the end all be all. Because you know, when, when you mention fear, it's always, you gotta be strong, you gotta have courage, you gotta, you know, you it's, it's this motivational bam, 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 you know what I mean? In your face, like, you have to be strong, you have to do this, you have to do that, and you'll be able to conquer that fear. But one thing that I, I've noticed personally, and quote me if I'm wrong, but you know, this is just my point of view, you don't have to take it to heart. But one thing that I've learned is that strength really isn't always the end all be all. So my dad and I were eating takeout one time and our favorite part of like, I guess father-daughter time, but also like getting takeout is like, obviously you get um, a fortune cookie. And I opened mine and, and I think I still have it somewhere, I have to find it. But I opened mine and it said, if strength were all the scorpion, wait, no, if strength were all the tiger or the lion would not fear the scorpion. And, and it's so powerful because when we think of strength, we're thinking of a lion, a bear, a tiger, you know, something really strong and big and look at them in all of their power. But then you have a scorpion who's the small little thing, you know, that carries a powerful punch. And, and I just feel like that plays into real life because again, we think of overcoming our fear. It's always, you have to be strong to do what you want to do but in terms of the fear holding us back from whatever it is that we want to do strength really isn't all because sometimes i i can i have times where i'm not strong enough or i don't feel strong enough even though people are always like man you're so strong like i could not do that you know what i mean but sometimes what's strong is the faith sometimes what's strong is the want the hunger the need, the wanting for that thing, whatever it is you want to do, you know, whatever it is you're trying to accomplish, that's what's strong. Because we're not always strong all the time. You know what I mean? I'm not always strong all the time. I have my moments when I'm, you know, in tears and I'm a mess and I'm a wreck. You know what I mean? And I'm, I'm pretty sure you all do as well. I just think it's, it's very important to highlight that is you will not always have strong moments. I'm not saying, you know, it doesn't take strength to overcome your fear, but sometimes the strongest thing is the force that is in between you and you know whatever you're trying to get to what keeps you up at night you know if i think that's that's one of the things that um made me realize my calling is it keeps me up at night if i can't sleep without thinking about it if i wake up and i'm thinking about it if i'm eating breakfast and i'm thinking about it you should be doing something that is god literally showing you why are you not doing this thing i don't know i just i feel like that that fortune in itself spoke to me and um there's a song by bts called it's a, it's a really old song this is like when bts was still you know getting fans and everything like they weren't blown up like they are now um not saying that i'm not an army anymore um i'm still an army i still love bts you know it's just it's gotten to a point where it's like y'all look kind of whew, but a lot going on not gonna say anything because i don't want to get attacked i'm an army too so don't attack me nt ways they have a song called Nevermind, and i believe the song in the song it's rap monster sugar i want to say j-hope maybe v maybe jungle maybe all of them. there's a line in the song and i believe sugar says it and he says if you feel like you're gonna crash press your foot on the gas keep going go forward keep going now i know a lot of people when they hear that they're gonna be like what like you want me to crash you want me to die what no i am your father well that's fine but i don't see how that affects what no like if you do that you're gonna crash but that's not what he's really saying what it means is that when you feel that fear when you feel overwhelmed when you're hard on yourself when you feel like you're losing your mind when you when you just feel like enough is enough and you just can't do it 
when fear is holding you back so much to the point where it stands in between your decision of taking a chance, taking a risk to get to where you want to go or staying in one place, step on the gas. Step on the gas. Take a chance. Step on the gas harder. That's kind of, sorry, that was kind of like my main point of this whole video. I know I was like all over the place, but um, bear with me once again. But yeah, kind of like the whole point of this video is to um, just keep stepping on the gas, you know? And whenever you're afraid and doubting whether or not you should jump in, doubting whether or not you should take that first step into, you know, going for that job application, going for that interview, going to that audition, you know, even if it's something just as little as doing something like so small, when where it's like, why are you scared of that? Like, it's nothing, you know, but to you, it's a big deal. Just jump in, whether it's telling someone how you feel about them, you know, you've had a crush on them for a while, you know, whatever the case may be, um, just jump into it. No matter what happens, just jump into it. Because I mean, what's the worst that could happen and that's also a really good practice is to own your fear you know own the fact that you're afraid i hate people saying oh don't be scared like fear you know no it's, it's nothing like don't be scared it doesn't exist but truth is you are afraid it's not just gonna go away it's not just gonna magically disappear and go away the fact of the matter is you're afraid you are acknowledge that say it out loud say that you are afraid pinpoint what it is that you are afraid of but no matter what don't let it interfere don't give it so much power to the point where you don't do what you're supposed to do you don't do what god has said you need to do you don't do the thing that you've always dreamed of doing you don't do something that you feel like oh my gosh this will be a really good opportunity for me but you let fear stop you there's this quote that um I'm probably gonna say it all types of wrong but I believe it goes fear has its favorites don't let don't let yourself be one of them I think that's how you say it I don't know I think I'm gonna put it in the description box below but I think that's how it goes fear has its favorites don't let yourself be one of them and I mean that's pretty self-explanatory again I'm not saying you know you shouldn't be afraid or you shouldn't be a strong person or you know whatever the case may be but I say that a lot whatever the case may be <laughs> but don't let it hold you back too much to the point where you're stagnant and you're stuck in one place because you're always gonna wonder what if if you don't do it so yeah hope you enjoyed this video I hope it's short I hope it's not too long <laughs> I hope I didn't just ramble but um yeah i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and share and all that fun stuff and right now i gotta go so until the next video peace bye struggles and pain only make we tougher i saw comes the money get no far me love my life still i make money and my friends are right make progress while them walk slide them can't stop my flame from ignite one life, many chances, you'd live up, you'd rise to the top Don't make it too badness, right now we have to cool off for that Get a youth one, hold on, try